guys, David Eater, one, two, or two. Good, good morning. It's a Saturday, the fifteenth uh, of December. So we're getting close to Christmas and all the things. I don't know why I'm doing a voice. I haven't had a shower or anything this morning yet because um I'm out of towels. I need to do laundry. But I figured instead of that, we would do mail day because I was gonna do this last night, but uh, I wanted to finish that list video. I've been kind of doing little bits over the course of the week. But yes, we have two things from mail now. We have package and, uh, is this considered a package? What is this called? It's like a, it's like a, a manila envelope. We got, we got old school Pokemans stickers on back. Don't trust Marley. I don't know what that means. Here you go, Marty. Hold this. First up is this package. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yes. It is so big. It is so thick and, and crazy. I don't know if it will fit. Oh, there we go. This is uh, uh, now time for how to get demonetized on YouTube. Talk about your genitalia in a non-scientific manner. Oh, this is from Ryan. Oh, from the Heatonist. What the hell is that? Oh, it's it's a bottle. Ryan sent me a bottle. Thank you, Ryan. What did you, what did you get me there, buddy boy? Is it a bottle of hot sauce? It is. It is a bottle of hot sauce by First We Feast. I think this is the hot ones guy. Yes, hot ones. Neat. So I can, can I can do my own deck profiles, hot one style. Let's try this out. I know it's like 11 in the morning, but that's that's like early lunchtime. We can do crap like this. Hot Ones is the show where celebrities divulge their deepest, I know this, heat level five out of 10. Oh, so it's nice in the middle. So it's not gonna like, it's not gonna like murder your, murder your face. It might murder your butthole though. Ooh, oh, yummy, chilies. Green Serrano, s s Applewood smoked green Serrano, orange habanero, apple cider. That makes a lot of sense. This is fan freaking tastic. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. This must be like a kind of like a Christmas gift. Oh my God, I love you. This is really good. It's a, uh, it's kind of smoky. Uh, it's not super hot. Um, it's got kind of a chipotle kind of thing going on. It's really nice. Uh, it would be good on chicken. Thank you, Ryan. You know me so well. All right, I think it's right. Er, Marty, Marty, that's not right. All right, okay, so now we have this package. I don't know what it is. Oh, I got Indian food leftovers in the fridge for lunch, but it wasn't spicy. I can totally add that without ruining the flavor palette. Like sriracha can, because sri, sriracha, is that how it's pronounced? It can kind of, it, it's got a very distinct flavor, so it kind of doesn't mix with things. It makes things always taste like sriracha. Oh, there's like cards and crap in this. It is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel after all, isn't it? Oh! Oh my god, he wrote me like a, an essay. Oh no, oh no! Oh god, I don't know if I'm gonna read this. Uh, you know, I, whatever, I don't have anything to do. All right, uh, we got some cards here, which we'll go over in a minute. Would you look at this? What is this, an essay? Sent via the ga Samsung Galaxy Note 8. What? How do you s <laughs> How did you send me actual physical mail from a phone? All right. Oh my God. You know what? I might, oh no. Oh. What is this? Like your manifesto, the, the scribblings of a madman. It's all in different colors and, and oh God. Oh boy. Oh, Lord and Master Almighty Dave, Lord of the Scrubs. First off, I want to say thank you for your existence. Okay, that's weird. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you are not only my favorite YouTuber, but the first one I ever found, which blew my mind discovering people actually could make money on YouTube talking about some of my favorite nerdy nonsense. Okay, money on YouTube might be a bit might be a bit generous. <laughs> I discovered your channel years ago back when your intro was Super Dank Adventure Theme. That's actually like the the name of the song is Adventure Meme, my original intro. It's like a, a free on YouTube thing. Uh, it cracked me up seeing someone else still had the OG dual disc like I did. Yeah, it's over there. Um, alas, I discovered you on a new fan down gizmo known as the internet while sitting in my car at Lowe's parking lot like a creeper and I spent an hour watching all of your old top tens. From the from that day henceforth, I became your willing and humble servant, ready to duel at a moment's notice, and loss and lose spectacularly because I suck so bad, I make Merrick look straight. 
Hey, that's not funny. I'm just metrosexual. Uh, I mean, come on. The the rod, the split personality, the manservant. He was probably... Okay, I don't know. Uh, I could... And then he kind of goes on like this. Anyway, my point is, my lord, I love your content and I apologize for not getting to you sooner. Life smacked me in the face harder than Kaiba took the big D from little Yugi in the movie. That's funny. Uh... On another note, my wife has always loved your outros that have a Tem in it because for some reason she is more interested in fictional characters having sex than she is actually... <laughs> uh, not kidding. She heard part from uh, Taya's ass and head swivel towards this great faster than Tasmanian Devil. My apologies, Lord, I digress. Uh, I love you. What you do, keep doing it, and you are the best YouTuber around. Thank you very much, man. Uh, actually, that um, uh, the guy who did uh, Attempt's voice is another YouTuber. I'll uh, I'll stick his uh, channel link in a uh, pinned comment in the description below. He actually doesn't upload much anymore, but he's actually he's got a very sexy voice. He's quite funny. I love him. He actually lives in Queens over here. Uh, another on the what is this? On another note of few questions. First off, why no outro of Joey, Tristan, or the GX characters yet? Well, uh, that's a bit anachronistic. Uh, I just did Chaz. But, uh, well, Tristan, it's, you, I'm not sure how I'd, I want to go with Tristan, because it's either, you have one of two options. Do it, like, OG, like, first three episodes of the show, Tristan, where he sounds kind of like this, which is why, uh, little Karibo does his voice like that, because it, he, it's making fun of original Tristan. That's why, uh, which is why the running gag is my voice gives me strength because it's it's uh it's just the gag because it like by episode like four they changed to the what he now sounds like also sounding like you say that same actor so and i think he actually made a gag in one of the earlier episodes that his voice changes and he's like oh, oh sorry you know it just sounded like this anyway uh so i don't know what i want to do either i do like uh i synchro summon a monster you know just like a, his really straight serious voice or I go little Karibo style. Problem is, if I could find someone who could do a really good Tristan Taylor, they could also do Yusei, and the gag could be that they sound the same. But you could only do that if you choose serious Tristan. If you go silly Tristan, you can't do that gag. So I don't know what I want to do yet. And then as far as the other GX characters, I never saw the show. So other than Chaz, who has a very distinct voice, I really, I, I really don't, I really wouldn't know what to do. Um, I guess Professor Crowler. Like, everyone, all my GX knowledge is literally based on what I've kind of pieced together from <laughs> Duel Links. Um, and Joey's hard to do. Again, it's the same problem with Tristan. Do you do a little Karibo impression like I do with Merrick, or do you do try to do a more true-to-the-dub impression of Joey? Because, you know, you gotta talk like this, eh, Yug? You know, it's just gotta, gotta do your best Brooklyn accent. But the problem is, it's like, mine's not, mine's not there. So I, I'd have to find someone who can do it really well. What's your favorite show? My favorite show? Um, I actually have no idea. Probably Star Trek The Next Generation. I can watch that a million times through. I probably have. So that's probably a good objective response. Favorite brand of shoe? Converse. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, that's a bad question because... Uh, aliens probably statistically exist, however, the real question is, do you believe they've ever been to Earth? And, uh, that one I'm unsure about. Does the Shadow Realm really exist? Yes, it does, and it's called the Bronx. Oh, there's like a million questions. By the way, the beard, I dig it. Thank you. <laughs> Then he goes on to say he got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! due to his Buster Blader. And he gave me some cards. Doesn't want me to sign them. Although, comment in his video if you want me to sign them and I can send them back to you. I'll need an address, which it might be on this thing, but it was covered by a sticker. I can't read it. Then he goes on to support ideas for Buster Blader support. Like, these are all creative cards. Oh, and that's why it's all in different colors, because the Link guy is blue, uh, the Fusion is purple, and XC has got a black background text, looks like a redacted CIA document, and then the effect monsters are this yellow color. Okay, that looks a, le that looks a lot less uh, crazy. <laughs> oh, the rituals too. I'll go over, I'll look at your creative cards later, because that's, that's a lot of creative cards, and I don't know the deck well enough. 
to be able to like look at these and tell you whether they're good or not uh and spells and traps wow and he talks about why he made the cards the way they are this is like extensive buddy it's like this is your dissertation yes i realize the card design isn't perfect but it's just what came up with for now. Please let me know if you have any input. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Sent via the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. <laughs> Why does it say that? <laughs> what did you do? I need some coffee. Coffee needs me. Parker, don't destroy my carpet. And the cards these night were Buster Dragon, this Buster Blader Fusion thing, and a Buster Blader itself. So, because he was... <sighs> What, Parker? Yeah? Meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Come here. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? You wanna go out? Yeah? Including my audio anyway. Come on. Scat. Scoot. Why can't you just be like Marty? Look, he's sitting here. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I, content. Lazy kitty. What is what are, what are you doing? You gotta give me this back. I gotta finish this video. Anyway guys, that was Mail Day. I hope you like these more freeform videos for Mail Day. Um, if you guys want to get in on Mail Day, just uh, use the P.O. box in the ooh, description down below. Um, it's in every video, but obviously this is the video that it, it's more important. So be sure to send me all of your fan mail, hate mail, or otherwise to my P.O. box. And uh, I'll finish your big letter later on my own time so that I can actually sit down and really, really read it as opposed to paraphrasing it. And remember guys, if you don't troll the metal who will, I will see you guys. <coughs> oh God, this is like kinda hot. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine, then it's time to duel.